What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? I wanted to go ahead and take a quick look at what we got here. This is an Edison 240 ED battery. Uh, I wanted to show you what it looks like on the inside. And it's, it's pretty heavy. You can see we got black carbon buildup on the outside plates. And you can see right there, this these are just broken off. And you can see how it's just they're super, super brittle. Uh, just you know, diving into it. You can see how they're just they're all broken off into chunks. Uh, looks like we got uh, it's really broken. So you can see it's so so old it died. <laughs> Probably froze some, expanded, contracted. Um, inside the cell, they, they just look. This looks like, you know, metal underneath all this. And you can see right there, it's already starting to flake off. So, in reality, it should be pretty easy to clean this. Uh, let's take a look at the bottom. And you can see there's dividers. There's four per row. So you can see we got four dividers per row. Pull those all out. So it's now you can see it starts with the outer plate doesn't get one inner plate. Uh, you know, and these plates are just uh, obviously in different colors. Um, it's really obvious that it's different colors. So it's pretty apparent that electrolysis is providing the uh, every other plate cleanliness. So I've got an idea that may work, may not. So, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there, this is Phil Twenty, and what I've got for you right here is electrolysis. Now, it's a bit different than what I was expecting to do, and <clears throat> this could be a very simple way to clean the entire cell. Uh, now, I've tried to clean some of these cells with removing the carbon with a toothbrush, right? I mean, it does come off, but it takes a little bit of time. You know, you scrub it and scrub it. And you can see where I've got this part scrubbed a little bit. Now, what I notice about this plate is it's the negative plate. Now this plate, I haven't even cleaned at all. This is the way the plate came out. And this is the way every other one of the plates came out. They are dull looking, but they have no buildup onto it. So, this is the plate that is the negative plate and it conducts the electrons to flow through it to the positive plate. And here's one of the positive plates. Right here. See how it's black? And it's got carbon buildup. Now my theory is that this buildup is a normal wear and tear for these plates. The buildup can be removed through electrolysis, if I'm not mistaken, because of the condition of the negative plates. So I've got a battery charger, a piece of steel, and then I've got my negative terminal connecting 
directly to the uh, positive plates that was inside of there. And now I'm withdrawing the junk that's on this plate and putting it on this junk. It's an old box. Uh, you know, it's just this galvanized steel would probably be better if you use iron. Iron would probably work better. Uh, but it, it's, it's obviously working. You see stuff is going from here and just attaching it right to that plate. So I can, you know, tell that it's working. Now you want to keep your garage ventilated or whatever ventilated during this process. Um, this is going to take all the gunk, hopefully, off of these plates and attach it to this piece of junk. What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm back and I wanted to go ahead and explain a couple of things. Let's start with these two batteries. This battery is 1976, this one's 1989, this is uh, June, this was, you know, uh, October, September. And the difference between these two batteries, you can see the plate that's inside of there. This looks like it's actually got some kind of a retaining connection. This is, you know, from 89, it's obviously newer. This one had the really brittle plastic junk all over the top of it. I haven't disassembled this one, but uh, I did notice that this one wasn't completely full, so I filled it up. These are just spare junk that never worked at all. This one I'm getting probably about 80 amp hours on a uh, seven hour charge. Uh, that's the first charge that I did, and I did another recharge. Uh, I'm using the charger currently for electrolysis on another battery, and I'll show you that in a minute. But this is the material that I actually used to separate the plates on the inside. Now, you can see the electrolyte inside of here, and you can see the plates here. And at the bottom, you got this cloth that actually hangs down. I didn't cut it perfectly straight on every one of them. Um, not that big a deal. I really wanted, you know, what I've done was uh, I had cut my rolls. I had a 36 inch roll of this and I cut it to length of the battery case. So basically it's the battery case length and that way I knew it was a little bit longer and you know the uh, material can get you know compacted inside of the sides that way it would good, be good and tight. So from the sides you can't see anything but blackness and that's because of this black material. This is fiberglass. It's pretty much that's all it is, it's just fiberglass. And it's uh the fluid inside is super clear. Um, now I am reusing potassium hydroxide from this battery. So what I've done is filtered this with this fiberglass as well. So I stuck this stuff into uh, three funnels and I drained it through each funnel into the battery. So it collected all the particle material, junk, oil, etc. All the junk was filtered out by draining it into this battery with three different funnels and draining it through the funnels. And then I refilled this battery with Distilled water or reverse os actually it's reverse osmosis water. That's what I have. Uh, and that does work really well. So the reverse osmosis, you can't do it. Now you can see I got this one shorted. I'm going to submerge this battery with the other battery as well and do reverse off I mean do electrolysis with this battery submerged into water. That way, specifically, this whole thing, I'm hoping that these plates will come clean like these plates without disassembly. If I can do that on uh, the batteries, that'd be absolutely amazing. And if not, then it's just going to get the rust off of these uh, terminals 
and the rust out of the case. But I've currently got one already running into a large, tall bucket. It's about this tall, you know, the whole battery is submerged in water. I've got the lid off and it's running. I've got this tied to the negative, both terminals shorted and tied to a negative battery charger. And I've got a piece of iron sitting inside of the bucket separate. So this will actually provide electrolysis from inside and move the particulate matter to the iron. And I am seeing black stuff that came off of this battery. This was really the worst battery I have, I think, um, to be honest with you. I really think this was the worst, absolute worst battery that I had. Uh, and, you know, it's so much clear. The fluid is super, super clear. Uh, you do see this inside of there. So, you know, I've got to take that into consideration. You do see that inside of there. It's not white, it's black, which is no. unappreciated. I'd rather have white, but it does the job and it's super clear. It's, it's holding power. Uh, all I got to do left is glue it. Once it's glued, I'm done. Nothing else to do. So I'll put it in the bank after I glue it uh, tomorrow and then I'll be done. So, I mean, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll show the next part of assembly with uh, this if it doesn't work. But before I go back with assembly on these batteries, I want to see if electrolysis can recover these batteries. Because if it can, I'll put 10 batteries into one bucket and run electrolysis through every one of them. It'll clean off all the terminals. It hopefully will clean off the plates. And it'll work really good, hopefully. This is Philip 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.